Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to get the most profit and efficiency out of your RDX 30 series cards while dual mining Ethereum and Tongcoin. I will split the tutorial in two tutorials. <laughs> First in Windows and secondly in HiveOS. So if you are if you mine in HiveOS you can stay because I will jump right into the tutorial. Well, the Hive tutorial will be a bit different from the Windows tutorial because we don't have the fancy pantsy um, curve editor. So we have to play around with the quo figures. Usually your Hive OS will look like this, right? Or nearly the same. So what you're gonna do is, there are two possible ways you can do, like on Windows. There's the most efficiency way and the most profit way. First we will cover the most, the most efficient way. The most efficient way, it's not really that much of overclocking or something. You just hit a core clock. Let's do it with um, this card. You just enter a core clock of, yeah, let's say 1200. Most of the cards will do, um, yeah, with that core clock around 100 mega hash. And for 100 mega hash with P, with P0 state, you will enter around uh, 1800 in the memory clock. And that's basically it. You hit, uh, you put in those two figures and you have the most um, efficient setting. There is not really much you can do about since you don't have the curve editor or any voltage that you could change. So you just have to accept this. Now let's say you want to have the most profit out of this. Sadly it's not as profitable like on Windows. So you um, have to deal with it kinda. And in order to do that, you enter your memory clocks like you would have on Ethereum, in my case 2900. And then you type in 250 in the core clock offset. This is the maximum possible value that allows HiveOS to do, you can get higher, which is kind of sad, because you could get more efficiency out of it if you could put it higher, but that's the most possible value and we just have to accept and appreciate it that we can get higher. Why we are doing this is quite simple. Since we don't have the uh, curve editor like on Windows, we can set a specific voltage and turn up and down the core. I mean you can enter a specific core clock but it will also take a specific core voltage for that and this is not efficient, right? So we just enter the maximum core offset and try to get the voltage down by decreasing or setting the power limit. That's how we do it. So we get an offset of 250 megahertz on the core, and at the same time we are pulling down with the power voltage, uh, with the power limit, the voltage, so that we have the highest possible megahertz on the core with the lowest possible voltage. Of course, the higher the power limit, the higher the voltage, and therefore the core clock. But the sweet spot for the most profit is around 1,600 megahertz. If you go into the Hive shell and type in Miner, I hope we will see it in a few seconds. We can see the cards are running at around 1600 megahertz, right? And now you may ask or say, hey, why is this guy so dumb? We could use absolute core clock and put in 1560 for the first card. Well, guys, we can do that. Keep in mind here the power limit with or the power draw so we are going to enter 1000 uh, 1560 and now we re we are releasing the power limit because we don't need the power limit it's also su suggested in the original file yeah and it's and now we will look how the power li power draw will go oh and we see it 326 and we can see the core clock even decreased 
Now you get a now you get the reason why we are using. Oh, it increased even more to eight three hundred forty. Wow, oh, that that's neat, isn't it? And that's why we want to use the offset and pulling the core voltage down with the power limit and not doing it with the absolute core clock because the absolute core clock, yes, it's true, it holds the card on a specific core clock but at the same time at a higher voltage level and we don't want to use that. And as you can see, we are running now at uh, 339 watts, so basically over 30 watts, 10% more and it also decreased the hash rate. I want to push 25 megahertz more yeah, you know, we uh, would be here 300, over 340 watts. So I put it back to, put it back. So basically, you enter 250 here, and then you play around with the power limit. And it's basically quite simple. You're opening the hive shell, as we were seeing here, and then you play around with the with the power limit till you got around 1550 to 1600 megahertz this is the best balance out of power draw and mining hash rate usually with this setting your card will get around um, 3 giga hashes on ton and it's doing what it's possible on ethereum so two mm, around two mega hashes less than on ethereum solo mining i wish we could do more here in hive os like setting it to a specific voltage like on windows because we could easily shave off 20 watts more mm, that's all you can do and basically that's that's the best setting as you can see all my cards are running at around 1600 megahertz now some of your cards might or might not exceed 3 giga 3 giga hashes or will stuck at 2.7 giga hashes then you will have to add an extra command in your flight sheet you just want to edit your flight sheet and add this command max dual impact they usually figure for for stock tuning is 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 so if your card is doing let's say 2.7 giga hashes in ton you want to increase the value if your card is doing over 3 giga hashes just take it and you are fine it, it wouldn't bother at all but you should try to get to around 3 giga hashes in order to do that you increase it so if it's at 2.7 giga hash, you want to start with 0 0.65, like the first card here, then it should be close to 3 giga hashes. If it's only 100 mega hash away, you want to put it like uh, 0 0.55. And that's also basically the next sweet, sweet spot. You can't really push it beyond 3 giga hashes on ton without losing too much in Hive. Uh, in ethereum but you can push it to around 3 giga hashes without losing much in ethereum and yeah, then you do the tuning for the cards that is needing needed and yeah basically you are done and you have a neat mining rig like me which is doing 3 giga hashes in ton with a relatively good um, efficiency I know it's not the best, but it gives you the most profit. I mean, you can try it out. Usually, uh, with the with the most efficient setting, you will see 100 mega hashes in uh, in Ethereum and around 2.4, 2.2 giga ha giga hashes in ton. And with these settings, yeah, you can see it. Just put it in any calculator that you have, and calculate the figures, and you will see this gives you the most profit. Yeah, that's it guys. That's basically it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Even we are we are not able to do much in HiveOS, but at least a bit. And I would say, leave down a comment or a like. And if you want to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And I would say, see you in the next one.